boys. We got a new lens, buddy. Come here. Come here, boys. Come here. You all right? You guys, my good guy, Boris, is sick, man. He's literally sick. I had to give him some medicine. I think he had like a cold. This is my first time experiencing a dog having a cold. I want to be excited right now, but I can't right now because he is sick. You sick, buddy? You sick? Look, you know, usually we up in the morning having fun, playing around, energetic, but today he is just not that. Look at that, got stuff in his eye. Stay still, buddy. Oh, gosh. Man, it's tough being a dog dad some days, but this is my good guy right here. He gonna be good. He gonna be good, buddy. He gonna be good. You want a treat? Oh, yeah, you want a treat, huh? You know, he always want a treat, so we about to grab him a treat. Watch out, buddy. This right here is his treats. Hold on, buddy. Hold up. Look at him, man. He don't know when to stop. Hold up, man. Look at that. Now nah, he's happy because he wanted a treat, so we about to give him a treat. This right here is what we about to give him. It's time to get cracked out. It's time to get cracked out, man. Woo! Feeling good, feeling great. How are you? How are you doing? It's time to get cracked out. Literally, I'm about to get cracked out. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Did you miss me? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Brad, Mellow Brad, Bradshaw Fitness. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, smash that notification bell, guys. I am back. I know you guys missed me. I know the beginning of the video was kind of down because Boris is feeling under the weather. He's been feeling sick for about three to four days. I have been giving him some medicine. This is medicine right here. I've been giving him like four pills. If you know anything about dogs, please drop it down in the comments because I really don't know much. And he is sneezing, he's feeling down. Only thing he wanna do is lay down, go outside, play with his good friend Charlie, but he's really sick. So please help me out, drop it down below, put it in the comment sections, guys. But we about to get cracked out. The hell with boys right now, your boy is here. You come to see me, you ain't come to see boys. You come to see me cause you know it's gonna be a very intriguing vlog, a very good vlog, a very, what can I say? Energetic vlog, joyful vlog, hyper vlog, me vlog, personality vlog. And I wanna show you guys what I like to take right before I head to the gym or right before I get up in the morning. This right here is this Mecca, brought to you by my good friend Mandel. And his brand is called Novakai, if I'm pronouncing that right, Novakai. So this right here is Mecca. And I think this right here is his C blend. And I think, yeah, I think it's C blend. I take one of these in the morning and I take one of these Mecca pills in the morning. I don't really know much about them right now. Me and him supposed to be doing a video about supplements because I like to take this every morning. And the next thing I like to take is beet juice, organic wheatgrass. I take this every morning on top of this as well. That's like my stack to start off the morning. But for me to get ready for the gym, which you guys know I'm about to get cracked out. I have my rice, cherry, limeade, BCAs, and EAAs. So I'm about to open this. And this right here is a brand new pack. I'm starting to like them more than Ghost, to be honest. Because for me, taking Ghost all the time, my body is starting to get used to it. And I need a little bit more caffeine. Granted, this right here is not caffeine. And this flavor right here is so good. This is like my second time using this flavor. So I'm going <coughs> to... Continue to use this thing. Oh man, stuff got in my nose. And next, we have the pre workout Tiger Blood. Whoo, Tiger Blood. The beta adenine has got 3,500 milligrams, citrulline, 4,500 milligrams. 4, milligram. So we're gonna use two scoops. You guys already know. We're gonna use two scoops. So if you guys ever wanna try the Rise pre-workout or BCAs, go try it out, man. I promise you, I think you guys really, really will like it. Don't use two scoops. If it's your first time using pre-workout, you always wanna ease your way to using pre-workout. So I started off using like maybe a quarter of a scoop, then moved on to a half, then two whole scoops. Take two scoops if you're not a pussy. Yeah, take two whole scoops. Uh, I gotta get my water. Get my water, I gotta take down my two pills, down the hat, then we gonna get ready, head to the gym, because I'm working out with Sonny. You know, me and Sonny always getting in on Saturday. Make sure you follow my guy, Sonny, man. He's a great guy. He know a lot about lifting, a lot about everything, man. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, my channel, but you like his Instagram. Yeah, do that. Yeah, and put my, I'm gonna put my socials down there too. Make sure you hit them links to my social as well.
just now arriving to my parents' house. Guys, you know I'm still cracked out. Like I said before, every time I turn on this camera, I'm going to be cracked out. You're going to get my personality, guys. You're going to get it. I'm going to be cracked out. I'm always going to be cracked out. So therefore, why not be cracked out with me? But now I'm at my parents' house. My mom just went to the post office. I haven't been to my parents' house in like two weekends. Yes, two weekends. I know that first weekend, I had to go to South Carolina to watch my good guy, Rod, coach for Tennessee. Well, he's the assistant coach for Tennessee. And last weekend, I had to go to Charlotte. You guys know why I went to Charlotte. Memphis Grizzly. John Morant, you know, All-Star 12. So I had to go check my good guy. I'm about to say Boris. My good guy, Jaya. Why I'm calling Jaya Boris? Kevin, what is wrong with you today? Yeah, I'm cracked out. But don't worry about that. So let's get back at the topic of hand. I'm at my parents' house. My mom just went to the post office. So now I'm with my little sister. I know my dad is off working. He's always off working. But my little sister is right here. And my mom was telling me my sister was being bad. Like, girly? Being bad? Look at her right now. Look at her. This right here is her crib. My mom had her in her bed. But now I'm about to aggravate her. Asking her why she is being bad. Girly. Girly, girly, girly. Nah, she don't want to talk. Tell the people why you being bad. Huh? Why you being bad? Nah, she just smiling in my face. You don't want to talk right now, huh? You don't want to talk? You don't want to be being bad. Tell me why you being bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you smile at trying to get out of this. You're not getting out of this one. You're definitely not getting out of this one. So why are you being bad? Oh, God. She don't want to talk. Oh, you don't want to talk now. Oh, now you don't want to be bad because the camera on. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm just going to sit here and chill with her and try to get some type of answer out of her. Yeah. Oh, gosh. This girl's a trip. Start to think about me. For some reason I've been feeling so lost Maybe I just need to take a load off Feel like I ain't did no work in so long So I'm feeling how to throw it off Feel the thing to feeling like a ball Ain't it ever true to take it so long It feel like I'm a hard to put the night there It's gotta be my karma, she don't fight fair I thought I'd fix it all and left it right there She can turn a dream into a nightmare She can turn a dream into a nightmare She can shred a nigga straight to pieces Leave her right there She got that opposite the cube She got a death stare You won't believe it when I tell you I was right there how you guys like my concert, man? I'm full of energy today. I can sing, right? I know I can sing, man. I'm just now arriving home. I'm so energetic, like literally energetic. What? I'm surprised the neighbor's dog is not outside right now. But guys, I'm just getting home. I know my good guy, Boris, cannot wait to see me. Hey, Boris! What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Buddy, what's up? Come here, boy. Come here, boy. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Outside? Let's go outside. Come on, outside. Let's go. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Outside. Outside. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. How you doing? How you doing? Yes, this is so amazing. I know he's so happy for me to be outside with him because he was inside for like three hours. Isn't that right, buddy? For three hours, man. So I'm happy to be back. Like I said earlier, he is tired and he has a cold, but he's outside. We having fun and we're going to continue to play around. Yes! Yes! Isn't that right, buddy? But I'm about to chill outside and play with my good guy, Boris. So Boris and I just finished playing outside. Now we about to go for a two-mile walk. I like to get a few steps in. And plus, Boris have been in the house all day. So therefore, I just want to take him on a walk, get him outside, and just have fun and just enjoy this sunlight, guys. Because we're in the middle of February. And you guys know February is usually cold. So I'm going to take advantage of this good weather. Let's go, buddy. You know he's happy to be out. Don't mind me being in the kitchen right now. I'm meal prepping at the moment, but I want to show you guys something. This right here is my push the envelope hoodie. They are finally finished. What you guys think? Drop it down in the comments. This right here is the front push the envelope. As you can see, hopefully you guys can see that. And on the top of the hoodie, I have Bradshaw Fitness embroidered on the top. I know you guys never seen that before. So we have a logo right here. And we have a logo right here on the front. And on the back, I have my emoji character, whatever you want to call it, me pushing. Hashtag stay pushing. And I also have my signature right here. What you guys think? These hoodies will be coming out very, very soon because season three of Push the Envelope is going to start in March. So stay tuned for that. So this right here is faded black and this right here is just black. 
which one do you guys like the best so we push the envelope as so stay pushing on the back look all boys hair but stay pushing on the back i know you guys really can see my emoji right here stay pushing signature as well embroidered on the top so we have black and we have faded black which one you guys like the most drop it down below so i just want to show you guys this because i couldn't wait to show you guys i'm so so excited my good guy boar is over there asleep and it's currently 7 14 p.m i have to feed him so i'm going to feed him and we're going to jump right into the topic of this video you want food Time for the topic of this video. I'm not gonna hold you guys long. I'm just gonna jump straight to the point. Guys, I was literally agitated, aggravated throughout this whole video. The reason for this is because I went to the gym, someone was parking the freaking handicap spot. No type of disability whatsoever, but you wanna park in the freaking handicap spot. I feel like this is my honor to protect my sister and the people around the world that have these different types of disabilities. Please do better. You could park a few feet, a few yards away from the gym and walk to the freaking gym. It's not that hard, people. If you don't have no type of disability, don't park in the handicap spot. Wrong is wrong and right is right. Like I was literally upset all freaking day throughout the vlog because it's not right. It's definitely not right. You have people out here with all these different types of disabilities. Can't do this, can't do that. But you fully functional to be able to lift weights and do cardio and any type of other bull crap. So please stop. I'm talking to anybody who does it. Stop being so freaking lazy that you had to park in front of any type of venue, building, restaurant, anything. If it's not for you, don't park there. Stop that. Please stop that. That's like my biggest pet peeve because I have a sister. I really do have a sister and this right here hit home to me. So please stop stop that stop parking in the freaking handicap spot that's all i have to say that's all and i'll catch you guys on the next one. i ain't never seen you around here before got me hypnotizing where you drop it low you know what you're doing yeah you know for sure couple hundreds in my pocket i might let it go